Hi everyone, this is Yash Maurya and today we are going to study types of WSN. So first have a look what is WSN. WSN stands for Wireless Sensor Network. The wireless sensor network can be defined as a network of wireless devices that can gather and communicate the information through the wireless links. Uh, we can say that it can be said as a wireless sensor network is the collection of sensor nodes that can be used to sense the environment and gather the information and the gathered information can be further processed look at the image these are the wireless sensors uh, sensor nodes these nodes can sense the environment and the sensed information can be gathered and the gathered information can be processed through the base station through wireless links Now types of WSN. So we have five different WSNs: uh, terrestrial WSN, underground WSN, underwater WSN, multimedia WSN, and mobile WSN. So depending upon the environment, the type of networks are designed so that those can be deployed underwater, underground, on land, and so on. So what is WSN? Terrestrial WSN. Terrestrial WSN are capable of communicating base station efficiently and consist of hundreds to thousands of wireless sensor nodes deployed either in unstructured or structured manner. In an unstructured mode, the sensor nodes are randomly distributed within the target area that is dropped from a fixed plane. The pre uh, planned or structured mode consists of optimal placement, grid placement and 2D, 3D placement model. In this WSN, the battery power is limited. However, the battery is equipped with the solar cells as a secondary power source. The energy con uh, conservation of WSN is achieved by using low duty cell operation, minimizing delay and optimal routing and so on. Now, what is underground WSN? The underground wireless sensor network are more expensive than terrestrial WSN in terms of deployment maintenance and equipment cost consideration and careful planning. The WSN network consists of several sensors that are hidden in the ground to monitor the underground condition to relay information from the sensor nodes to the base station additional sync nodes are located above the ground. The underground wireless sensor network deployed into the ground are difficult to recharge. The sensor battery needs equipped with the limited battery power are difficult to recharge. In addition to this, the underground in, uh, environment makes wireless communication a challenge due to the high level of attenuation and signal loss. Underwater WSN More than 70% of Earth is equipped with water. These network consists of several sensor nodes and vehicles deployed underwater. Autonomous underwater vehicles are used to gather data from the sensor nodes. A challenge of underwater communication is a long propagation delay and the bandwidth and sensor failure. Underwater WSNs are equipped with a limited battery that cannot be recharged or replaced. Uh, the issue of energy conservation or underwater WSN involves the development of underwater communication and networking technique. Now the fourth type of WSN is Multimedia WSN. Multimedia wireless sensor network have been proposed to enable tracking and monitoring of event in form of multimedia such as imaging, video and audio. These networks consist of low cost sensor nodes equipped with microphones and cameras. These nodes are interconnected with each other over a wireless connection for data compression, data retrieval and correlation. The challenge with multimedia WSN includes high energy consumption, high bandwidth requirement, data processing and compression technique. In addition to this, multimedia content requires high bandwidth for the content to be delivered properly and easily. Now the fifth and the last type of WSN, mobile WSN. These network consists of collection of sensor nodes that can be moved on their own and can be interacted with the physical environment. The mobile nodes can compute sensor community. The mobile wireless sensor network are much more versatile than the static sensor network. The advantage of MWSN over the static wireless sensor network include 
better and improved coverage, better energy efficiency, superior channel capacity and so on. Some of the disadvantages of wireless sensor network. The first one is security issue. WSL network are not secure or we can say less secure as compared to our wired network. Hackers can easily hack this network. The second one is battery issue. Here the battery issue states that the nodes need to be charged at a regular interval. And also the battery life of the nodes are very low. And the third one low communication speed. Communication speed is comparatively very low than the wired, uh, wired network. And the last one is distraction issue. It states that the wireless sensor network keep distracting, uh, distracting by other wireless devices. That's all for today. Thanks for watching this video.